You are now tuned into Mixation Radio Live. The views and opinions of the guests and the hosts you hear on Mixation Radio Live are not necessarily those of the staff and the management of Mixation Radio Live, its sponsors or advertisers. Ah, uh, yeah! That's how we doing it, y'all. First they hit us with colonization. Then they hit us with slavery. Then they... Free to stay and hit us with the gym. Organic okay, radio, super DJ Sean Ruffin. Let's just go. Been with Feel like I'm underwater, watch my brother get slaughtered, so the hell is, you know I can't breathe. Rap started on the cover, left trap, call my brain, damn it, by the left, I can't breathe. Uncle Tom, man, Uncle Sam, never give a damn, fuck a slave, family, I can't breathe. Come on. Stimulus, take, get your foot up on my neck, post shit, get back, I can't breathe. Feel like I'm underwater, watch my brother get slaughtered, so the hell is, you know I can't breathe. Rap started on the cover, left trap, call my brain, damn it, by the left, I can't breathe. Stimulus, take, get your foot up on my neck, post shit, get back, I can't breathe. Feel like I'm underwater, watch my brother get slaughtered, so the hell is, you know I can't breathe. Rap started on the cover, left trap, call my brain, damn it, by the left, I can't breathe. Uncle Tom, man, Uncle Sam, I never give a damn, fuck a slave, found a tree, I can't breathe Fuck a stimulus, Jay, get the foot up on my neck, oh shit, get yeah, rock, I can't breathe Walk up in the bar with the birds and the bees Turns on the new people, just to tell a tea All the talking heads, spirit, rest and not a tea Turn on the love, another black casualty To a white supremacist, just a fantasy Hit hey, a motherfucker, tell her why you mad at me You can hate long, got you focused on reality And tell only you full of demons, you be battling Woo! Imagine all the all my dreams, well, set a ring They had to let them out by the boom, by the beans That's another nigga dead and we won't do a thing in a line, pick a team. I still get killed, man. I shit sick and need to run PTSD, black community. Can't be raised in chaos, but it's supposed to need upgrade. Can't be mad, raw, no buffer. I feel like I'm underwater, watch my brother get slaughtered. So the helpless, you know I can't breathe. Rise out of undercover, last breath, call my little brain, damn it, by the left, I can't breathe. Uncle Tom, man, Uncle Sam, never give a damn. Fuck a slave, found a tree, I can't breathe. Fuck the stimulus, take, get your foot up off a net, post oh, shit, get back, I can't breathe. Feel like I'm underwater, watch my brother get slaughtered. So the helpless, you know I can't breathe. Rise out of undercover, last breath. Call mama brain, damn it, by the liver, I can't breathe. Fuck a tall man, I'm the sound, never give a damn, fuck a slave, round the tree, I can't breathe. Fuck a stimulus, take, get your foot up on my neck, oh shit, get it, rock, I can't breathe. Fuck a tall man, I'm the sound, never give a damn, fuck a slave, round the tree, I can't breathe. Fuck a stimulus, take, get your foot up on my neck, oh shit, get it, rock, I can't breathe. Fuck throw rocks and hide your hands, don't understand that. Cut it just to hide your back for a reprimand. Cold second, got your face, you won't candy. Quit while you in here before you get a band. Fuck some poor rest of the judge, my name's Slander. Had a hack of rhythm for the radio jammer. Stupid motherfucker, fuck out all about the camera. Same day for a revolution, let me check the planet. Gotta get to work with the arm and I have my answer to answer for me being in stuff for we in too deep in this way more deeper Government the rest live and read the people Laugh in my face cause I wanna be evil You can't fertilize such your eggs and beat them Flat lives matter, don't let no one deceive you Can't a man rock, gotta breathe, I believe Feels like I'm underwater, watch my brother get slaughtered So the helpless, you know I can't breathe Ride started on the cover, last breath Call my little brain, damn it, by the left, I can't breathe what? Uncle Tom, man, Uncle Sam, never give a damn Fuck a slave, found a tree, I can't breathe Fuck a stimulus, take, get your foot up off a net Oh shit, get it back, I can't breathe Feel like I'm underwater, watch my brother get slaughtered So the helpless I can't breathe. breathe. Rap started on the cover, left breath, call mama brain, damn it, by the left, I can't breathe. Come on, Uncle Tom, man, Uncle Sam, never give a damn, fuck a slave, found a tree, I can't breathe. Fuck a stimulus, take, get your foot up off my neck, oh shit, get it, rock, I can't breathe. How you gon' get a tip and lace a gem and set the case and take it, anything you say, I believe. Cause the red to believe, do the word, and see, do the see, tell the lies when you breathe. Oh, I'm Amber Alert for the missing black baby, parents don't search, still can't breathe. I ain't asking for another fucking nigga holiday, all the rich politicians need to leave. Stay the rich population. Heritage, death and credit, let them know what it's like to be me oh, In front of a grand jury, I'm taking the stand Swim my hands, then I'm gon' leave oh, I can live a pro gun like take a sunlight Run red like go home sleep yeah, yeah. I ain't begging for equality, fuck modesty I want a whole ass a lot of folks here Feel like I'm underwater, watch my brother get slaughtered So the helpless, you know I can't breathe Ride started on the cover, last breath Call my brain, damn it, by the left, I can't breathe yeah. Uncle Tom, man, Uncle Sam, never get a death Fuck the slave, found a tree, I can't breathe Fuck the stimulus, take, get your foot up off my neck Both shit, get it back, I can't breathe Feel like I'm underwater, watch my brother get slaughtered So the helpless, you know I can't breathe Rap right, started on the cover, left breath, call mama brain Damn it, by the left, I can't breathe Uncle Tom, man, Uncle Sam, never give a damn Fuck a slave, found a tree, I can't breathe Fuck a stimulus, take, get your foot up on my neck Oh shit, get it rock, I can't breathe Got to do it, got to do it Organic radio, ha ha Damn, I can't get a passport and I can't leave That's how it's going down, y'all Like a moth, I can't grieve It's either them or me the fuck you think it's gonna be? Can't man, rock. Shout out to my man Ryan. Have it, you know what I'm saying? He up in here. We got my man Shane Q up in here. We got my man D Jones up in here. We got my lovely wife DJ K Latte Life up in here. We're gonna talk about some serious issues today. 
with some serious people that I see posting on the Facebook matters, you know what I'm saying? Black Lives Matter and a whole lot of different issues. The White House, we're just going to just gonna bring in a catch, you know what I'm saying? We almost there, y'all. What we gonna do? Bring in the cat! Yes! Uh huh. Yes! That's right. Tune in, tune in, tune in to all my listeners out there. (laughs) What's up, y'all? What's up, world? Super DJ Sean Rebel Organic Show. And we got a special guest up in here. We're just going to get him right up in here right now. Without no further ado, the owner of Nicholas B. David Beardbaum. He goes by the name of Brian. What's up, Brian? What's good? What's good? How you doing? We good, man. We, we got a lot of questions, and I know you got a lot of answers. You know what I'm saying? So definitely we yeah. want to uh, talk to you and let you just, just open it up. Open up the room for discussion so we can get this popping right now. Bet. Bet. So uh, I guess I can start off uh, by saying thank you for having me on the show. Um, sure, digging, sure. digging what you've been doing, man. Um, I know there's been a lot of crazy stuff going on. Um, yeah. I wanted to I wanted to kind of jump into the uh, the business a little bit real quick, get that out the way. Okay. Um, so as you know, I'm the owner of Nicholas B. David Beard Brand. Um, we had a pretty exciting thing last night, our scent justice. Uh, we've been promoting it for the last couple months. Uh, we just did our first donation to our first uh, recipient. Um, so we got them their their charitable donation for everything they've been doing. Um, they've been working hard. Um, so I wanted to make sure to, to start off on a positive note. <laughs> we need as much as we can get. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but other than that, everything's been going great for 2021. Um, there have been some some crazy things going down, but um, safe. Life is good. Um, hopefully everybody else is staying just as safe and um, not getting into any crazy situations with all that's going on. But, um, but yeah, that's uh, that's where I'm at with the business right now. So oh, okay. That's what's up, man. Uh, am I getting feedback? I'm, I'm seeing people saying I'm getting feedback on my mic. Are you hearing any feedback out there? I got a, I got a, I got a panel backstage right now. Y'all can give me the thumbs up or not if you hear any feedback on my audio. But it's okay. Shin Q said it's all right. What about now? Is that better? Better now? Better better? One two one two one two. Right there. Was it too much feedback? All right. We're gonna work with it. You know what I'm saying? We're just gonna work with what it is. So I'm glad to have you here, Brian, because like I said, we we have a lot of questions, man, and uh, we want to get right down to the discussion. So I'm going to bring a few more people on as a panel, and we can get this discussion started because a lot of people are going to have a lot of questions out there from this, this uh, White House thing that went down and uh, this, this thing yeah. in particular of uh, why, what, how, when, and why we were sitting back eating chips watching TV for once without having to think about our people out there. One moment. My man, Shane Q. You in here, baby? What's up, man? What's going on? Oh, man. man. He called call himself, he call himself Old Man Fleming. On that. <laughs> yeah, that's my new name. That's the new name, yo. You can't yeah, be older than me, yet. No I'm, I'm the elder now. I'm the old abbey right now. <laughs> you, can't, you can't be older than me yet. <laughs> Shit. I, I, <laughs> shoot. I'm I'm old and dog is. This is a dog right here. Oh my god. This is a dog right here. I got I'm on right. dog is. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna bring Damon Jones up in here to he over there munching on his food. Bam, got him. What's up, man? What's up, Dan? Oh, Dan, good. Dan. What's we good, also man? got the What's lovely K Latte Long time, baby. Long time. We also we also man, got the up, lovely K Latte Life on here. Hold on just a moment. Damn. Hey, everybody. everybody. What's good? What's going on, okay. What's going on bro? What's good, baby. Brian. Right. Yeah, what Brian, up? You gonna you gonna you gonna lead this thing off, man? We just gonna be listening. Um, for y'all for y'all on my feed right now. Um, turn your um mics down a little bit or your headphone sets down a little bit. That way you don't get a lot of feedback. Um, also, um, if you're not saying anything on the panel, go ahead and push your mic mute. You have a mute button on your cell phone or your um or your laptop. When you're not talking, just go ahead and mute that and unmute it when we're ready to talk. We're good now. 
All right, Brian, the floor is yours, man. Let's get it started. All right, man. All right. So, I mean, I know everybody saw everything that went down um, yesterday. Um, I just was kind of, it kind of fell on me to, to say some things. And I've been arguing with people all day. Um, and they know, they know me, they know I'm pretty, uh, pretty quick to, uh, to speak my mind, but I figured, you know, there's a lot of people that have a lot of opinions on what happened. And I think it was, um, somebody that gassed up some followers that really didn't need any fuel to the fire. Um, because people can't honestly say that what went down wasn't planned. They can't say that what went down wasn't like some type of a basic like call to action prior to everything. And what Trump said, you can't even you can't even lie that he didn't just go ahead and, and drop that match on that blazing that blazing fire that was just ready to get ignited. So I've been arguing about it all day. <laughs> I'm sure y'all have been in the same boat. Um Scratch and head. I mean, we, we all know if, if it would have been anybody that was a different color shade of, of skin other than white, that they would probably would have been shot, pepper sprayed, tased on site. And I mean, months ago, it was proven when Black Lives Matter peacefully protested, they got pepper sprayed, mace, they got the whole like National Guard on the steps of the Capitol building. For what? For some people that wanted to peacefully protest, you know? But yet these white nationalists and these people that, you know, are, are followers of the president, if you want to call them that, they go ahead and they're inside the building. They're behind enemy lines, like doing whatever they want to do, posing, taking selfies in offices. Just, just <laughs> crazy. crazy. <laughs> and I just, and I just, I've never I've seen anything like, like it. it. And, and it, it, it's, it's just, just to me, I, I don't, I don't I don't see why people can still defend him. And that was that was mainly my point of view. And I wanted to hear what some other people had to say about everything. Man, we were sitting at home watching like like something was on TV, you know, like we was watching a movie. And um yeah, I'm yeah. sure I speak for all of us in volumes that um this was one time in America that we can all say that um we seen the privilege, man. We seen we seen privilege slap us in the face real hard like you know yep, people can yep. be who they are like we respect you for being who you are we respect us for being who we are but that right there showed that you know um things are things are different man you know for for a, a certain brown and, and, and black person man is it, different versus um the white color of skin and being downtown washington where they are and i'm there's mad hoods around there it was no it was no violence um far as us oh, coming yeah. out and doing anything but yet when we came out for black lives matter it was everybody i mean the national guard um japanese army um the philippines came over i mean everybody was there um to make sure that we didn't come up on the white house lawn um when this went down yesterday it was a tragedy to see that they could get that far in that amount of time and then be in the house bragging Putting their feet up on the on the on the White House tables and taking paraphernalia as well as documents, documents. So you know what does that say? What does that say for us? We couldn't do anything. We get shot down um, for just saying you know Black Lives Matter. Um, other people come up from there and take stuff and breach security, national security at that. What does that say for us as America? And also, what's that say to the other you know? countries that are looking at us right now. I know they're saying, yo, they cowards. They they crazy. They fighting amongst themselves. They we're gonna end our own our own situation. That's how I feel. Yeah. yeah. To me it, it felt, felt like other countries, countries were probably sitting back applauding and laughing. laughing. And it it, it I mean it's, it's crazy, crazy because, because like we saw videos, videos of some top that were just one pop against fifteen or twenty people. people. I mean granted I understand, I understand his position, position but, but it was it me, was and I was faced with federal security. You know, I'm gonna be busting caps if they're up in where they're not supposed to be. It's going down. Like <laughs> that's my job, you know. Right. And it's an unfortunate situation for anybody. That that's like that should never be a, a scenario that people have to deal with, no matter what color of skin they are, and no matter where they come from. They shouldn't be seeing things like 
people invading a federal building, let any, alone any building, any building, nothing. Point. Yeah, state building, anything, anything that has that kind of security, they shouldn't have even had a, a foot past that barricade. That should have been the the farthest they got. Does anybody know exactly how many feet you're supposed to be back? I know that there was a wall up, which was crazy in itself as well. But there's a wall up, um, and I don't know if it was you, Shane Q, but I seen a post earlier today that um, a young lady had um, gone through mental health issues with her baby in the back of the seat of the car. She ended up um, pulling up on the lawn, and they shot her dead. That, I yeah. remember that. Yeah, I remember that because that was actually the year I left D.C. Uh, I had left D.C. to move to Philadelphia. And before that, I was working in that area. I was uh, working as a security guard near the uh, Chamber of Commerce, the United States Chamber of Commerce. And before that, I was a, a liaison for FedEx um, in the Capitol buildings and in the um, in the federal buildings, the um, the Senate, the Dirks, and all those buildings, all those buildings in the Senate um, and in the House, I was a, a FedEx liaison for them. And the they shot that woman five times, and she had her child in the car, and she was going through some mental issues. She was a uh, first responder. She was a healthcare worker, and they shot her five times. Wow. And there was a there was an incident I heard about where there were four brothers that walked up to the Capitol building steps in a suit and they didn't get to the second column of steps because they already had the Secret Service on them or the Capitol Police on them. But in this instance, you get a group of uh, protesters, you get a group of QA9 Trump, I call them Trump tards, <laughs> QA9 Trump tards. Just they just ran up in the building like it was nothing. So that that leans that leans to me that there definitely was some inside um, inside help with that. Uh, there definitely was there definitely was a few police officers that I mean you saw it you saw it it, it was they showed it it was guys taking selfies with the with the terrorists that were, ran up in there. I ain't gonna call them protesters. I call them terrorists. Um, Q and I, Cowboys, whatever you want to call, it, whatever whatever name they holding on to, and you know, it is what it is, and that crap would never happen in those buildings. I know how the security is in those buildings. I've been in those buildings plenty of times. They got dogs. They go to your car. They check for uh, bombs. They have little uh, magnets and mirrors. They go up under your. Like when I was going in there with a truck, they had mirrors going to there with a truck, and you know they're checking packages, they're patting you down. I mean, I even got offered to work for the Capitol Police, so I I got an idea how they work, and that situation right there. I mean, you can you can you can look at what happened during the summer, and you look at what happened now. During the summer, they basically gas bombed a group of peaceful protesters just so that fool could walk to a church and hold the Bible up in his hand. Well, but he talk to, he didn't you talk get to the pastor, right? No, nah, he didn't say, he, no, they, they weren't on, good, it wasn't on a good accord. The church did not invite him. He wasn't welcome there. The church, he wasn't even welcome there. And the pastor actually said it was disgraceful that he came out there and did that display in front of that church. So they did all that when Black Lives Matter protesters and people were protesting police brutality and, you know, excessive force. They were protesting that. But then you walk up and then you today you got people mad because you lost an election and it was really it was very close. The election was very close. It came down to those votes and he basically got destroyed by a landslide with the um with the mailing votes and and people thought that was cheating and it wasn't cheating i mean they do this all the time celebrities do mail-in votes all the time um it's just it's just a, i'm kind of numb to the situation because i expected this to happen and you know when people show you who you are who they are you believe them 
And they show in Trump time and time again, like people, oh, I'm so appalled that they did something like this. Um, excuse me, do you listen to this guy talk? He ain't never lied before, unless it was about something that wasn't, uh, uh, according to his ego, unless it was something that uh, was about, was that, that was uh, like a negative to his ego, he don't lie about it. If he say, oh, we gonna do this, he said it before he got. He said it before he got um, elected. He said I could walk on the middle of the street and shoot somebody, and I and they still love me. Wow! And you're seeing those examples. Like he's basically untouchable with his followers, his fans, his Trump tarts. I mean, he's he's untouchable, and what he says, if he says something, he's like a mafia boss almost. He's like. What he says, it's going to go, and these people will follow him to for now. My wife even says this: there's a little religious connotation to it. It's like they worship him like he's Jesus, like he's the second coming, he's the savior. So, I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't know what else I can say to it, but that that situation, it was designed. It definitely was designed, and um, you saw the security off like the. You could see security that that one brother that was running and stuff like that. Come on, man. They actually, but I did just see the video of the lady getting killed. Okay. The lady that was killed, and there were three other people that killed, and one of them was a police officer. But the lady that got killed, she was climbing, and I know that hallway she got shot in, because I used to walk up and down that hallway every day. I remember. She 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 was trying to climb through the doors of one of those buildings, and he shot her point blank in the chest and a friend of mine he says he knows her from the air force so he must have served with her or something like that but if you um you, you do stupid things you win stupid prizes i mean uh the black lives matter protesters weren't doing all that and they had a kid especially in um wisconsin and they had a kid come from a whole nother state and shoot three of them down and you hear the president praising that person. So what do you expect? They call him a hero. a hero. Yes. What do you expect from somebody like this guy? What do you expect? I mean, he tells you it every day who he is. Exactly. Why do you don't believe it? And people just don't believe it. Like, even at, I mean, I even heard when I was watching the protest on TV, I even heard some of the protesters say, they're not terrorists. They're not rioters. So what? What? what are we looking at? Because you're doing a whole lot more than those Black Lives Matter protesters were doing. A whole lot more. Breaking windows, walking up in people's offices. This fool sat his behind down, probably farted in his lady chair, in Nancy Pelosi's chair. Yeah, I mean, they basically, excuse my language, but they were basically wiping their ass all over the walls in there. This is what we're gonna do. And you're, they're not rioters, they're not dangerous. And then some people, oh, that was Antifa. Nah, that wasn't no Antifa, man. Come on, man. Like, I mean, it's one thing to say something and we have no visual evidence, but seeing is believing in this world. And we can see it point blank. Nice. Nice. But I don't want to take up all the time. Somebody else say something about this. We, we got time. <laughs> It's partially hilarious to me, man. It's hilarious that people didn't see this coming. And I actually think this is the tipping point of so worse. You think they done? No. What's your take? Just be prepared. Oh, lots of, lots of. <laughs> <laughs> D. Jones, what's your take on it? We can't hear you. Your mic. Your mic. Your mic. Hi there, y'all. Game. Yeah. It's like Shin said, man. I mean, it's it's a double standard. Um, like I posted the other day. Uh, Welcome to America. It's nothing new, you know, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I've been here on this earth 46 years, um, and the things I've seen, the history I've studied, you know. Um, you, you can just see it. People want to show you who they are, regardless of uh, what they say. They always want to show you by their actions. And I'm a firm believer of that. Um, if you want to talk about Trump, 
Um, he said it when he was going down the elevator, going down the elevator, you know, um, or the escalator, sorry. And uh, that, uh, you know, it's all about the, uh, the Mexicans, this, that, and the third. They wanted to get somebody in office and they got somebody in the office and it's all a power push struggle the whole nine yards as far as them getting what they wanted. You had so many enablers out there. Okay, everybody everybody said, uh, and, uh, they didn't stand they didn't stand anything. Anything. Look the blind eye to everything that was going on. You know, um, they're all, you know, they all complicit as far as I'm concerned. So, you know, something like this was bound to happen sooner or later. I'm surprised it didn't happen right after the election, to be honest with you. Um, when it comes to like uh, Black Lives Matter, the movement, the whole nine yards, I mean, like Shin said, I mean, you had all these protests and everything, and most of them were very nonviolent. You know, they were just protesting. You had brothers getting killed just about every other day. And, um, you know, I mean, people getting shot in the back seven times, going to his car. Uh, I mean, it's all kinds of things that were happening that, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you know, it was just horrible. The things that went down, you know, and, and it happens all the time in America. Think about all the killings of black and brown people that don't get reported when people don't have video cameras or, or iPhones or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, that's just one piece of it. But what America has to understand is that they got to come to grips with their history. They have to come to grips with what they're being taught in school. I mean, that's a whole another segment right there. I mean, in Texas, they take slavery right. out, of school, out of school books, you know what I'm saying? And saying that slaves were indigenous servants. That's not what I know. So it's like, you know, it's, it's all kinds of stuff. I mean, they're trying to whitewash the history of people. And as black people, brown people, you know, you just got to know your history. You got to know your worth. And, you know, not to say anything against other races or anything, because y'all know I'm the, I love everybody. It's all about respect. And it's all about knowing, you know, um, where you're coming from and, and what it's all about. You know, like uh, Sharon was saying, I mean, it's like a cult when it comes to Trump. You know, that, that's, that stuff is crazy. And, um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, uh, you know, I knew this was going to happen. I, I thought it was going to be a race war probably before the elections or even right after the elections because I knew he was going to lose. And then I knew he was going to win the two Senate seats, too. So now the Democrats got control of everything, both houses, the presidency, you know, and now it's a, it's a matter of him just trying to even save face because, I mean, he just came out tonight basically and conceded, you know, and, and uh, the presidency. But, I mean, it's too late. I mean, the whole thing is, you got a guy that's calling the Secretary of State of Georgia on the phone, talking about find me eleven thousand seven hundred some odd votes. Who does that? You know what I mean? It's just it's ridiculous. Um, we live in a democracy that's being threatened every day with this man being in office, as, as far as I'm concerned. And I mean, everybody knows what the deal is. If you don't, you just blind to the fact that you're not really trying to see the truth. And it, there's a difference, a big difference between facts and fiction. You know, all this social media stuff, all this um, QAnon, these conspiracy theories, you know, it, it's just ridiculous, you know. And the fact that people actually believe in it and they just want something to hold on to. But that just goes to show you the insecurities that people have, you know, the fears that they have. I'm going to take something that, that should be mine or I'm going to take it from you. It, nobody's taking anything. You know, I was born in this country just like most other people were. Just because I'm a different skin than yours doesn't make you or me any different as far as I'm concerned. We're both human beings, you know what I'm saying? And that was one of the main reasons I launched my line. But it's, it's humanity. Where is the humanity? You know, that's that's my issue with all this. Those people walking, you know, doing the Capitol. I mean, that mess was just ridiculous. But it was already it was already foreseen. You knew it was going to happen. Something was going to blow up, you know, and. Like Shem was saying, it was just like pouring gasoline on the fire. It was just going to blow up. And, I mean, I'm just surprised more people didn't get hurt. I mean, four people died from this thing, you know, and that's another life loss. I mean, that lady that was um, in the Air Force, right before she uh, got shot, she had posted, and I think TMC had posted it just a little while ago, uh, but she was marching down talking about that mess, you know, all about Trump. You know, you know, for, you know there's three million people out here. It wasn't three million people out there, you know, I mean, but it's just the fact that, you know, it's this this narrative 
that's in the atmosphere that people want to push these false narratives that this is going to be, you know, what it is, and this is better than what it is, and you know, we we want to save the country. We're patriots in their BLM, or yeah, well, we're all patriots. I mean, I served the military. I was an MP. I mean, I served my country. So my my thing is, you know, it's not about where you're coming from or, or who you say you are. It's it's what you really are. You know, what I'm saying, be truthful. Show me who you are. I can deal with that. But you know, hiding behind all this this BS and these groups and these conspiracies, I, I could care less. You know, because the fact of the matter is, we all gotta live here on this earth at the end of the day. That's you know, facts. and I'm gonna keep saying it's facts. He's speaking yeah, facts. I mean, it's that's that's the truth, and it's just sad that it gets to this point. And then you got your lawmakers. That's you know, I don't even talk. That's a whole nother discussion, man. Because I feel yeah. they all should have term limits, just like the presidents. You know what I'm saying? Because no. you got cats in there for 60, 70 years. It seems like you know, all my life I've seen the same people. You know, but it's like it's just ridiculous. McConnell and, gotta go. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, he gone now. <laughs> he, he not the leader no more. Thank Yo, you. I put up a post that said. Bro. I never wanted to see uh, four white men get their ass whooped so bad. Do John Cleese, <laughs> four oh, old white men, four <laughs> old white men, I want to see their ass get whooped. Mm. John Cleese from Cobra Kai, uh-huh. <laughs> Mitch, Mitch, yeah. I ain't giving you shit, McConnell. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, what's, the, uh, what's the other one? The senator from South Carolina, the other one. Oh, Lindsey Graham. Yeah, Lindsey Graham <laughs> and <laughs> Donald Trump. I want to see them get their ass beat, like bum fight style. Wow. wow. <laughs> That's what I want to see. All right, they on all on need their ass on They told us who who shit. <laughs> And they doing buku dirt hiding behind the door, hiding behind glass, uh, bulletproof glass. They talk buku shit, and they need all need their ass whooped. I tell you, <laughs> what, what's your take on it? Um, before you before you speak though, I wanted to give y'all the idea that um, I also see some other um stuff on social media earlier today that um they had a, a brown egg, uh, a, a semi brown egg, and then a white egg, and they all cracked them and they made eggs. What y'all think about that? Latte got to turn the mic on. Uh, <laughs> Latte. It does. It does mess up. All eggs crack. Okay. We're all different what colors, but we still say? make we we still make the same. Exactly. We still make an omelet. Well, yeah, that's the truth. That's the truth. Yeah. I mean. Human beings is human beings, but exactly. you can't that's tell what, these people that. That's what it meant. You can't tell people these people that though, and they know they know I, the people that make excuses for these people. Oh, they didn't know. Oh, they didn't know they were racist. They know. They yeah, they. Do. So these true. Will never they were born. They were taught generations and generations. People keep forgetting those same people that enslaved people. They had children, and they taught their children and taught their children. So this is that's why I'm not surprised at none of it because it's their children. Just like they said, those same people that was climbing their walls, they got children at home that they're teaching to hate your kids or your kids' yep. kids. So yep. it doesn't stop there, you know. Got kids. There were kids there. Exactly. There were kids there. Can you imagine? What those kids are growing up to be like, it's just y'all don't want to know what my solution is. Because if somebody <laughs> told me to be a politician, I was like, no, nah, um, that ain't no good idea for me. <laughs> my neighbor, for anybody my the Italian right neighbor, he said, Man, you really need to run for office. I was like, Um, no, you don't want me to do that, sir. <laughs> you don't want me running for office because it'd be a lot of capital pun, it'd be capital punishment for these hate crimes. Oh, you you want to kill somebody because of their color? You're going to die. And your family's going to live the rest of their life in jail. Because I know you taught them how to be like this. Yeah. You should you should face the consequences for teaching your children to exactly. Be like Look at me, yep. even putting up even putting up the uh politician. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but seriously, <laughs> don't nobody want me to be no politician because, mm. yo, I mean, I'm talking about castrations for molesting children, and it's a whole lot of them up in that Kidnapping. office. Exactly. That's a whole nother conversation. They all going to cover each got, other. One year term limits, dude, you got to get voted for every year. Not mm. every four years, eight years. No, every year you got to uh, run for office. Because we got to <laughs> worry about his kids and all of them still trying to be in office. Right. Definitely. They out there threatening people. Nobody said nothing. He He's threatening people too. Threatening not, their families. And it was all passed. So y'all kind of touched on everything that I wanted to talk about, especially the lady that got killed, you know, going through the barricade by mistake, you know, rest in peace to her. I wanted to ask everybody, what do y'all think about what should happen? One of my posts today was, what was it, 50 or 59 arrests only out of all those people that were there? 63, but they said only 55 were prosecuted. So, but he also passed something Mm -hmm. saying that if you deface a monument... And you do things like this, you're supposed to get 10 years minimal. Yeah. So they ain't getting none of that. They ain't gonna see none. Of that. Even, right, so, even, with de- even with a democratic office, they ain't gonna see none. Oh, of that. I know. But mm-hmm. what would you think would be a good punishment for something like that? I mean, that's treason. You, yeah, walked, up in, you walked up in the Capitol building with a, 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 a Confederate flag. Are you serious? They lost. Yep. Right. Actually, you should actually that you should go to jail for having one of those. Right, no, but they, they don't feel that way. Nazi flags and Confederate flags. In right, the it's the same thing. Two of our enemies. Yep. But you know what? You know the t- Constitution is wrote, written on a piece of toilet paper. So exactly. Yeah. Well, the one, the one thing, the one thing that I thought was almost laughable when I don't remember what senator was speaking last night, but when they reconvened, he said that the uh, Constitution was the greatest document ever written. I was like, oh, really? <laughs> like, oh, wow. Okay. Because That's they believe they own shit. Mm, they believe their own, they believe all their own sauce, like, and the problem with everything that is in that document is just from A to B, A, actually A to Z is wrong. So I'm like, nah, I think what they really should do is, as someone touched on, they need to um, stop having these judges in Supreme Court judge seats for their whole career. They need to, they need to have a limit. They don't need to have automatic, you know, uh, reinsertion into their spot because they, they feel they, they need to be, they need to have a limit. And some of this old way of thinking needs to get weeded out because it's never going to keep these people in power. And it it's, to, it's it just to going to continue. It's yeah. not a meritocracy. Yeah. They, they try to make like it's a meritocracy, but it's not. It's a plutocracy. It's cronyism. Exactly. It's who who put in the bill. It's it's mm-hmm. corporations. It's people throwing money so they can get their agenda filled. That's why that's why the people. This is the biggest kick in the behind to the people that they did these stimulus checks. Six hundred dollars, <laughs> please. Six hundred dollars. It's crazy. That's some type of stimulus. Who is that helping? And then somebody so said, they mind out, might as well have handed out some PlayStation Five, and I want, fives. Check and I want uh, some, I want uh, fourteen hundred other dollars to go with it, and you probably okay. owe me more than that. And I want my reparations. Yeah, you don't tell me I don't want my stem. Like somebody said that to me, and this person works for government, so of course they would say some goofy crap <laughs> like that. But six hundred dollars ain't helping nobody with the nah. crap we're going through right now. You let a pandemic in here, and you got civil unrest, and Everybody losing their jobs. You think they care about small business? Uh-uh. They're not even extending. They're not even extending the leases for small businesses. Nope. People are losing their businesses left and right. These people that are small business that support supported this administration and this government. You think they care about you? And you nope. about to lose your business? <laughs> like this is a yo. It's it's too much. You could you can't put all this in one radio show, my brother. <laughs> you can't put this all in a one radio show, man. It's like two right. radio shows. 
It is need to be like a part two, part three, part four. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But there's so many things that, like you said, there's so many things that you can touch on that's just been just jacked up from the jump. And um, I mean, from the from the beginning of the presidency to now, I mean, I mean, look, we got what thirteen more days of this joke before the presidency. Yeah, even that. The, the problem is a lot of this stuff that's going on was covert. Now it's out in the open because they right. question the waters. There's a saying goes, a person will only do to you what you let them do to you. And that's what's happening. They test them yeah. to see how far they can go. And they they're going far. pretty far. <laughs> they went real far. Board. They in the board <laughs> with the sharks right now. They they went far. Yeah. I think I think like um a lot of a lot of people that I've had to unfriend over the course of 2020, they are those that kind of that believe the old ways of the you know what people preach and what they uh stand for and um th i know that they because they're some of them were family members and i know that they were not raised that way but yet they got brainwashed into it and i mean call it complete ignorance or just completely not wanting to uh go outside the fact that they're christians so they have to be republican i'm like Get out of here with that mess. A lot of it is matter, hypocritical, like, though. A lot of the hypocritical, though, because if yeah. you study the Bible and you look at the scriptures, because there was a there was a let's talk about it. Bible. I okay. read the Bible daily for five years, like back and forth the entire Bible. I went through the whole mm -hmm. Bible in a year for like five years. I'm telling you now, if Jesus was here, and I'm agnostic now, I don't believe in none of that stuff. To be honest with you, I believe there's a God, but there's I don't believe in religions because they're all corrupted. They're all corrupted. Somebody's throwing money. It, you follow the money in anything. But if Jesus was here, he would not be a a, a, a Republican. He wouldn't be a Democrat either, but he definitely wouldn't be a Republican. <laughs> right. He definitely wouldn't be no Republican. Hey, that's he a rap not. song. That's a rap song right there. <laughs> the one, no, because the one line. the Yeah, I'm about line to get him upset. <laughs> The one line that he said, a rich man will make it through the eye of the needle before he makes it into the kingdom of heaven. Mm. And he told a rich man to give up all his riches. That is rule number one against Republicans. We work for rich people. Mm -hmm. We build wealth. We want everybody to be capitalists and high level capitalists. And then we'll listen to you. They don't listen. Republicans don't listen to poor people. No. Charity is listening. And it's not. Yeah, that's true. It's that's true. Always, I mean, always ways of thinking, though. Yeah. And I, I mean, the way that things change, times change with each and every decade because of maybe different things, technology or, you know, different things that pop up every 10 years. And yet we're still supposed to follow the same laws that have been crooked from the start, for one. They were built on the backs of people that should be in a bigger position of power for two. And third, this whole country is a, a, a country full of people that aren't necessarily from this country born and raised. Let's not talk about that. That's a whole nother show. Yeah. But, you know, it, I'm just saying, like, it, it, it's it's crazy. Like, you, you look at everything and it's it's all like a big, like, smoke show. For real, like straight up smoke show, and people are believing it. <laughs> he running his own cult. For real. You when you cult? start talking about the re religion, I was thinking about um, how I'm not a Bible thumper either, but I've had my fair share of time in church yeah. due to my grandmother. And I do remember, um, you know, the way they follow him and worshiping him. And I was like, I remember y'all got a scripture for those, you know, diehard Christians. You're not supposed to be. Um, Idolizing false idols, right? Okay. Oh, Don't get me started. <laughs> right? Well, They're going to get quiet now, but hey. They would blare them, they blare them flags. They yep. blare them flags. Like, they got a new flag. If it ain't the Nazi huh. flag, then it's this, uh, what is that? That that fake clue? What is it? Clue tar? What is it? Because I just learned about this today. Because I was like, what the hell is that green flag they keep carrying <laughs> That green oh, flag, man. whatever oh, that man. is, that's supposed to be like a um, 
uh, island uh, or land the nation of uh, shit posters or something like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's some crazy made up stuff for their racism. So is that, and then they got them, um, <clears throat> them Confederate flags or the Trump flags. Like I got a neighbor that oh, yeah, you talked lived to down her. the way. Did, uh -huh. I put, did I tell you about that? You told you told me about it. Police lives man, a gigantic twenty foot pole with a ten foot flag. Police lives matter. Trump twenty twenty. Um, and I'm just looking at it, and then we got another blue line guy around the corner. I had to look at the mailbox every time, and and now I just posted the video where they don't rock with y'all either. Them proud boys don't rock with the police either, because the police. Could police realize that they were siding to in um, Portland were siding with some of the protesters and they were trying to keep the peace. And those instead of knocking the protesters teeth out and they didn't like that they were doing that. So they said, oh, we spit on you. They start stepping on the blue line flag that they was carrying and started burning them. <laughs> so come whatever, on, man. whatever wind, whatever way the wind blows, right? <laughs> yeah, whatever way the wind blows, and if it blows in your direction, <laughs> just so long as we ain't downwind. Pretty much. All right, we 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 gonna take a break, y'all. This has been intense, but before I go, I want to give everybody that's on here a flowers, man. My man Shin Q, uh, we did the albums together back in the day, man. Um, one of my favorite rappers that um y'all never heard of, but y'all gonna hear about him anyway because he gonna put that album back out there. Hint, hint. Um, so uh, he he's he's got a lot going on, man. Ex football player. No, I'm man. about to you, put you. some new stuff out. See, but the we old still man Fleming. Oh. <laughs> old man Fleming, no crunchy okay. for grown men coming soon. No, I'm serious. No, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, la I'm laughing for a purpose. <laughs> on on purpose, I'm laughing. Is that the evil laugh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the evil laugh. <laughs> and we got um the, the lovely Latte Life over here. She's a DJ as well as she does photography and as well as uh I don't know, you just do so body much. contouring. You do, you do everything. <laughs> do everything. So we got my man Damon and uh he's a CEO of his own clothing company and he's an entrepreneur, manager Ooh. for artists and all kind of stuff, man. And we got Brian, the owner and CEO of his own beard bomb and, and you know I need uh, some of that. Yeah, that's we got I some see. good products over there. <laughs> I got y'all. I got y'all. We, we gonna talk about that when we come back after these brief messages, y'all. Y'all stay All tuned. Right. If if y'all want to stick around, please stick around. But we we gonna come right back, man. I gotta go to a break, man. <laughs> All right. It's hot. We've been talking to my man Brian and, and, and the friends. We're going to call it Brian and friends today. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Shea Q, man. You got a lot of knowledge up in that noggin, man. <laughs> That's my man right there. We, we go way, way, way back. The rest of the team on here too, man. Organic Radio Show. It's your host, Super DJ Sean Rebel. And we've been talking about the White House and just different prejudice and white privilege and, and, and you know, Black Lives Matter and flags and everything you know just chopping it up because it has to be a discussion in order for things to be understood it has to be a discussion about it not yelling and pointing fingers and fighting and violence it has to be directly talked about with people with like minds and people that don't have like minds that's fine too but the situation goes like this in order to get respect you got to give it you know what i'm saying and a lot of us in this company haven't you know in this country haven't been given respect at all and for us to watch this on our TVs to say that we're supposed to be with the land of the free and the home of the brave, it didn't look like that yesterday. So we wanted to talk about it. Brian wanted to, um, you know, start the show up and get his advertisement on. And that's what we're trying to do. So we don't want to take too much time on Brian's show. <laughs> Brian and friends. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's how it goes down. I want y'all to understand that, you know what I mean? So without further ado, we're going to make sure that I'll be right back. You are now tuned into Mixation Radio Live. The views and opinions of the guests and the hosts you hear on.
Radio Live are not necessarily those of the staff and the management of Mix Station Radio Live, its sponsors or advertisers. All right. We are back. We'll bring Brian back. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> he done took himself off camera. <laughs> That's the Brian and Friends show today on Organic Radio Show. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all I was gonna bring some people on, man. These people got mad knowledge, and um, you know they they go way back with me as well. And we we do these type of discussions, even if it's uncomfortable sometimes. And I know that you've been um um based off of what we got going on right now. I know you've been under a lot of scrutiny, and people ask you dumb questions and how you been treated, you know, even before yesterday, but just in general because of the color of your skin. And um, that's how we yeah. feel every day. What you're going through right now is how we feel every day. So I, I you know, salute you, brother, for being on the show. And um, I big up everybody because hip hop is everybody. We all came from hip hop. Um, that's surrounded me right now. So that's why I want to talk about that as well. Music, music plays a big part in everything that we do, and then we get through everything in life with hip hop and R and B and reggae and rock and roll and jazz. And I could just keep going on and on, man. So salute to the DJs because you're one of my DJs. So yes, we're definitely sir. gonna be talking about a lot of stuff, man. But it's all on you, Brian and friends today, man. <laughs> <laughs> we're back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I agree with you though, with with how uh so many people have been getting kind of just uh singled out because of maybe what they look like or what they're saying. And um I know with me and and some of the the people that were in my circle of friends on Facebook or you know any other place it, it definitely that circle's gotten tighter <laughs> and you know it is what it is it is what it is and you know i'm i'm uh like you i'm not somebody that tries to make someone feel bad about their point of view because their point of view is just that theirs so you know i'm always one to to talk with people if they're gonna be respectful i'll be respectful so i feel you on that and and a lot of people, like you said, are just not doing that. Definitely not, man. It hurts my heart, man. When I <laughs> when I look out there in the world and I see what's going on, it really breaks my heart to see that. But I know, like um, all my friends that I have on here, my family, um, you know that that's what keeps me going. Is like I know I have people out there that are like minded and um, know that they're here for a cause and they want to birth their kids into this world to do great things and do better things and try to build. You know, we we trying to build. We're not yeah. trying to sit around and destroy. We're trying to build. If we're trying to destroy anything, is destroy the prejudice and racism of this whole country, man. But that's one block at a time, and we got to take oh, yeah. the block that we live on. So one block at a time. Um, shout out to uh, United Blocks. That's a plug for them as well. Um, but this is all about you, man. Let's talk about this uh, beard bomb and um, yeah. the website and stuff like that, man. Because um, absolutely, if we, into, if we get into that other stuff we was talking about just now, man, we go, it's going to be a four thousand hour <laughs> show. <laughs> so we got we got a lot of exciting things coming um down the down the way um but you know i'll uh i'll show everybody a little bit of the products that i've got so everything started with the beard oil um so i'm gonna go ahead and show it off um nice. so uh it's it's got a lot of different ingredients obviously but um the biggest one we utilize is a hobo oil castor oil um, it helps with growth and, and it gives you good, uh, good hydration. Um, and we have since kind of expanded. Um, but one thing that sets us apart is we are a beard oil that believes in catering to all beards of every length, thickness, coarseness, whatever you got on your face, we can handle it. So, um, we are one of the few, if not maybe one of the only companies that has a different way to oil for everybody like for example if i know you cut yours back but you could still use the beard oil even though people think you got to look like this you don't you can have just a mustache or just a goatee and you can use a lightweight oil and it'll still help you out so that was something i really wanted to make sure people didn't feel singled out and that they didn't feel like oh man you know i can't use that because i don't got a beard but 
nah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely not. So um, the next thing that popped in to play was our beard balm. Um, and it's all fun. natural. Yeah, yeah it's, it's an all natural product. So mainly the, the main ingredients is shea butter. Oh, see, there you go. <laughs> the main ingredients in it is shea butter, mango butter, cocoa butter. It's got a great natural scent. Eventually down the line, uh, we are going to do some scented beard balms as well. Um, that's all coming. Uh, so it's people have told me, you know, they really wish I had different scents. And honestly, to begin with, I wanted to have a very natural scent that didn't compete or battle the scent of the oil that you had in your beard. Uh, but I, as I always say, I'm someone that listens to my my critics and I listen to the people that purchase and buy and their, their input is just as important as my own thoughts. So I will definitely have some scented beard uh, balm coming. Thank so, you. oh yeah, you know that's it. Why, and that's, why I, that's why I posted this up, Beard Responsibly, because that's your Amazon um, site right there. So yep. they where we can um, order some beard balm. But you yeah. also have a, a .com, don't you? Yep, I sure do. Um, it is nicholasbdavid.com. Uh, so How do you spell it, Nicholas? So it's N-I-K-O-L-A-S. And then B. David. And um, it pops up your uh, the whole website, everything that you're going to need as far as uh, how to beard responsibly. Um, which actually is is a phrase that I actually had to trademark so <laughs> shout out to the trademark lawyer in new york <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. but uh so we we try to you know keep it keep it with a very natural theme you know um because we do use all natural ingredients it's a vegan friendly formula so we don't use chemicals we don't use any animal byproducts everything is either plant-based even down to the beard balm, we don't even use beeswax like most everybody does. We use a candelilla wax, which is a plant wax. So we we definitely wanted to make sure that to every extent that it was friendly for anybody that has a vegan lifestyle. So okay, talk about that justice oil, man. Talk about yeah. That. So the justice oil, that was something that really kind of it it really came into play um, this past year. Um, and we we wanted to do something to basically kind of send a, a little bit of a shout out to people that are out there in the streets that are, you know, fighting for just causes, whether it's civil rights, um, equality, um, LGBTQ community, anything that was a fight that they stood for. We really yeah. wanted to find a way to give back. Um, so justice is it's a, a, a scent that we made for our oil and it's a really great scent actually. <laughs> um, but, uh, it, uh, we took 50% of proceeds made and set it aside. So anything that was outside of that 50% just went back into making the product. But that other 50% was set aside to give to an individual or an organization that we felt really was in need. So even for the individuals that are doing things on their own, we wanted to be able to help them with self-care, um, anything they need. Um, maybe they just need a mental break or some money for a quick vacation just to get away and, and you know, be able to, to do some, some thinking, <laughs> whatever they right. need. That was the point for it. So um, and like I said, we were just able to do our first donation last night. Um, nice. This individual has been on the ground really doing some some big things and uh i just wanted to salute them um we're keeping them anonymous just because they they made that their wish and i'm gonna respect it but uh we will do uh donations every fiscal quarter so what sales we do get everybody knows that when they purchase they're giving not only to themselves but they're giving to people that really need it so it is a very good cause um and we're not making any profit off of justice so <laughs> it's more a labor of love so nice that's what the organic radio show is all about man give it back to the community and showing love to all of my peoples out there um definitely we uh um all haven't sampled your uh beard balm and um justice oil yet i have had the luxury of being around you um 
and uh, working with you a little bit. So I was able to get a few samples and um, buy a few um, um, things from off of you. And I'm really enjoying yeah. the product so far. So the, the product is working. It's doing what it needs to be doing. I, I definitely That's like right. it. So we, we did uh, listen to a few people as well. Um, and I made sure, and it was something I'd been working on for a minute, but we finally have our sample pack. So those of you out there that haven't tried the product, you will actually get a sample of every single uh, scent that we offer. Um, there's three, the Justice scent, our uh, Velour Jacket scent, and our Lady Killer scent. And then you'll also get, um, you'll basically get our, um, our Beard Balm, and you'll also get our Hydration Spray, which was the next thing I was gonna go ahead and show y'all. So we have our hydrating spray um, and this is fabulous. Like for those of you that have like me, a, a longer, thicker beard that gets tangled up, the hydration spray not only gives you that hydration and keeps it feeling nice and, and moist and moisturized, but it also helps detangle. So when you're combing, it gets right through without any of the tangles, pulls or snags. So, yeah, so definitely we whiskers sticking out for the ladies, you know, for the exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, and then we, we also have our soaps um, and we, uh, we also carry our line of, um, of our brushes and combs. So they're all wood brushes and combs with a, um, a natural bore bristle. So it's, it's firm enough, but it's soft to where it doesn't scratch the face and, and, lacerate the skin so <laughs> and as you're seeing there we also have our straight blade so this thing is amazing um it's about an eight ounce blade but it's nicely balanced made of japanese steel um they are handmade as well so it is a good look for those of you that are familiar with shaving with the straight blade and actually honestly even those of you that aren't i have used it for years and i have yet to get a razor cut. <laughs> Whereas with, you know, any kind of thing that like the Mach 3 or whatever, I'd get a cut every single stroke. <laughs> I'd walk out after shaving bleeding. <laughs> good, but good, that, good. that straight blade is amazing. So. Yeah, for most of us do um, on the chat right here. We we do have beards and mustaches and et cetera. But um, yeah. unfortunately for me, I just cut my, um, my, my old man um, Fleming down. I, I, mine, was, my, mine was longer than his. My, I just cut it down. Just cut it yeah. off for no reason at all. I said, you know what? Um, the weather's breaking. Um, into something. I live on the eastern shore now, so um, out here the weather's weird. Um, when it's oh, yeah. when it's cold and, and 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 cold and raining in Washington or Baltimore, we have sunny skies at sixty degrees out here. So it's weird. They said it was snowing in Baltimore. We was outside in um our shorts basically. So <laughs> it's like. Hey. <laughs> you cross that Bay Bridge, it's like a different whole, a whole nother different life over here. So we, we sure. right close to Delaware too. Shout out to Delaware, and um, you know, it's just different. So the beard had to go for a little while, just a little while. I'm gonna get I it back it. like you. I'm gonna get it back like Shan Kudo, my man, old man <laughs> Fleming on here. I'm gonna bring him back on the show too. Um, I'm gonna bring everybody back because um, we definitely want to yes, give everybody. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm back. Hold on, Dame Jones. Let's move. Let's move this presentation out the way. We don't need more of a PowerPoint. <laughs> Yo, I, I feel like I was beard. doing a PowerPoint. <laughs> I need a beard product re up, so I'm definitely going. I got you. you. I got you. Because I, I just got finished done. I just got done with these products I was using before, mm -hmm. and they're good. But I like trying different products. So I That's have one that lives in Maryland. And I tried hers, and then I got another boy that lived in Maryland. Mostly all my beer products I've gotten are from Maryland. So nothing wrong with that. <laughs> so maybe Mary Maryland knows something that I don't know, but I've been getting all my beer products from It's the from shea Bingo butter. <laughs> shea butter. Now, shea I, butter. You know what? That shea butter by itself don't work on my stuff, man. No, it doesn't so work. My stuff, it doesn't. My stuff be uh, shredded wheat style. So <laughs> yeah, <it's all laughs> <laughs> they, they cut his too. <laughs> I'm sure. That's why. They, that's why mine ain't long as Brian's. I want mine long as Brian's. I want. I want the real Abbott. I want it. I want to be like. Remember, um, Kill Bill Two. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> no doubt. It won't be like, <laughs> hey, hey. Matter, matter of fact, Shin Q, you you was the one that told me about Kill Bill. Now that I think about it, that's a good segue. You put you put me on the Kill Bill. Thank you. <laughs> hey, but, but just make sure, just make sure it's not like the five wispy hairs, you know. <laughs> no, not I know the whole joint going down like this. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh man! So, but yeah, I, I definitely got you on that. Uh, like, like I've been telling them before, I I took a long time to really figure out, you know, what I was doing. So um, I just kind of did my homework, and I had a lot of people test it, and they all told me that the product was great. And half of those people were real picky, so I knew when they were telling me that the product was really working for them, I was like. Okay. Uh, but I would definitely love to have you try it. Like I said, I got samples. Um, so when you get the sample kit, um, you get one of everything. So you get the bomb, you get the hydration, and you he's, get everything. He's sending you the crack. He's, he's sending you the crack. <laughs> Pretty he's, much. He's, he's, sending you the, he's sending you the sample <laughs> testers. <laughs> Pretty much. So, I mean, it, it's all good. But that, was, that was why I did it. So, and I mean, you're going to get like nine vials. So you're going to get the three cents and three different weights. So you get the lightweight, middleweight and heavyweight. So you can see which one works best. So it's a good sample kit for, for what you pay. You get a lot. So, but yeah. So, and I'm always about finding people that want to do their before and after uh, shots. So yeah. I've had a few people that do that and I'm more than willing to, gift a lot of things to those individuals because I want to see their journey go from where they're at to up here where they're wanting to be. So I'm always down to to help people out through that journey. So and the website's nice too. I like the website. Hey, you know, it, a labor of love, man. It took a while, but I got it together. <laughs> yeah. Looks like you invested some money into that one. So I appreciate it. Because a lot of people oh, yeah. say, hey, check out site, and it'll be a, 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 what is it, a Wibbly? A Wibbly? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What's going on here? No disrespect to that company. It's just that, you know, drag and drop sometimes doesn't always work out. <laughs> That's true. So true. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I, I'm always down for, for anybody that ever has questions about the products. I always like to answer the questions and, and give anybody I can any type of insight as to how we do what we do. So <clears throat> um, tell everybody how they can catch up with you uh, besides your website that we just plugged for about 25 minutes. Now I'm playing with you. <laughs> <laughs> so you can around, always, around, Robin. you can always find me. I, I typically am on Facebook quite a bit. Um, you can find me at uh, Brian Haverly on Facebook. You can find me at Nicholas B. David on Facebook. Um, I do massage therapy as well. So for those of you that are um, interested in, you know, getting getting some therapy if you got injuries or you got bad joints or anything that you need worked on, um, I can definitely help out. I've got formal training. Um, I do deep tissue, all the different modalities. So um, I'm always, always able to uh, help people out. So <laughs> definitely. And uh, we're going to go around Robin, old man Fleming. Yes, sir. So on you, buddy. It's your, it's your What's plug on away me? time. Plug away time, buddy. Oh, plug away. Well, it's a couple of things I'm working on right now. Um, I'm currently working with uh, one of my boys. He got a, a label called Third World Entertainment. And we're doing a couple of projects with him. I just recently went to the studio and dropped a couple of tracks for that. I'm supposed to have some type of uh, mixed third world order mixtape okay it's coming out i did a couple of verses on that he got some big names gonna be on there like one this one song that i uh did with these guys i can't believe who he trying to get on there i'm not gonna say no names uh but it rhymes with uh custer line and oh, and the other one is uh Uben Rink, <laughs> so I, I, I give y'all I get I get a couple of names in there, and, but I, I ain't the one to name drop. You ain't heard it from me. All right, you'll, but, you'll hear from yeah, me. I'm a DJ. You'll hear from me. Yeah. yeah, of course, of course. You're required. You're required. 
you and Speak. Speak spit me, sent me some beats from Japan. Oh my God, yo. We about to go crazy. Like over that that no country for grown men. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a powerful album, man. I'm gonna be teaching um young yeah. heads what hip hop yeah. is. For real. For real. I'm gonna really go in. Like you're gonna hear me killing it in a in a triple style and everything. He gave me all types of uh tracks. But I want I want some of your heat. For real. Um also I've been working on I'm writing I'm writing I'm been working on a script for two different projects. Get that, man, that's all right. You don't even have to ask for it. Right, oh, of course. It. I'm also working on two scripts for um one script is for um a biopic that I'm doing on uh Dr. Khalid Muhammad. I'm I'm a oh, okay. I'm building oh. my um, interview platform for one of his close friends and for his son. So I'm trying to do it because he is, he basically is, besides Malcolm X, one of um, the greatest people I've ever known about or read about. Like he, I, I idolize him and Malcolm X. Those are my two idols. Those are two brothers. Like the Malcolm X movie was beautiful. And I kind of want to do Khalid Muhammad on that same scale because he was that same type of brother. Got you. Um, for All Dr. Right, Cut, I'm, I'm also a writing, going on. Yeah, and I'm also writing a script for and a novel for this uh this uh fictional story I call that's called um Africa I Dream and it's a little it's a it's a revolutionary story and it's kind of a what if story on if uh, people of color, black, and I'm not gonna say people of color, I'm gonna say black people, uh, repatriated and did a mass exodus on America back to Africa. So, mm -hmm. and the complications with that, it's sort of a murder mystery, murder mystery, and uh, an epic, sprawling epic, all mixed into one. So, like there, there's a trigger moment and then black people just decide I'm fed up. We're all leaving and we'll let you fend for yourself since you think this country doesn't belong to us as well. So, I, I mean, it's, it's a couple of things I'm working on, just trying to get that together. I'm also currently, uh, if, if you guys didn't know it, I, I'm disabled because I got in a trucking accident. No, we didn't so, know that, man. You didn't say nothing. I'm walking. I'm walking, but I can't sit or uh stand for two extended time. period of times like i like right now right now i'm in pain just sitting here so you know i'm trying to work through that i got surgeries coming up i just had a baby boy yeah, we've seen that congratulations man congrats thank you thank no you let him know let him he fussier than all my other kids, my other two kids. So. Yeah, we gonna we gonna yeah. check out what's happening with Damon Jones now, man. Oh, you got a lot going on, son. We gonna man, check back with you. That's what's up, man. I'm praying that you uh have successful surgeries, bro. For real, man. I had no yeah, idea. Man. You going to prayers that. going up? You gonna get no doubt, get no doubt. quicker? Yes, yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, I'm launching the. D. LaShawn brand as far as the actual merchandise with D. LaShawn because I've been doing other stuff with D. LaShawn but uh, as far as the actual merchandise for the for the brand is coming out on January the 22nd so uh, I'm waiting for the inauguration to get out the way and everything and then uh, I'm flooding the streets flooding the airways uh, Sean we got some work to do bro I know um, I you got you. something coming to me Friday but um, I just wanted to pop it on you right now <laughs> it's going I, down. I, I got them beats yeah. working on them beats. Yeah. Man. Just so y'all yeah. know, I'm back. I started. I started making beats right. as of January one. So you put uh, the band back uh, together, y'all. Yeah. Yo. yeah. <laughs> I, I made the announcement right here on Organic Radio Show. I'm making the beats again. I'm back to sure. back to banging them out. I know. I see you, Shan. I sent some stuff to you, but um, it's kind of old. I know you want the newer stuff, so I, I got you. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be working with Brian real heavy too, um, Dame. Um, we're gonna we're gonna get with Brian because um, I'm, I got an epiphany right now. Y'all two need to get together for um, with the clothing. The clothing is gonna need that beard balm scent oil. Y'all mix that merchandise yeah. together. That's gonna be a you, dope need, you need some shirts for your uh, 
But yeah, you're yeah. bomb, bro. You need yeah, some no doubt. merchandise to go with that. Yep. I would love that. So yeah. Y'all, I got y'all cross y'all cross promote with that while Shin Q is gonna be writing that uh that that book, you know what I'm saying? And um, that book hey. can come with the oil as well, because we all either smoke cigars, we have beards, we're getting older, so we're gonna yeah. like to we we like that sandalwood and that you know the, those. those <laughs> so this all goes into a, you know, and uh, of course um you can holler at our latte because latte is gonna be taking those photos, so right. we can do we can do the photo layout for the whole thing. I I just see the whole thing, man. Y'all y'all doing some big things, man. I'm proud of every each and one of y'all, man. I'm thanking Brian, man, because Brian put us on for. The talk t- today, because today was like, oh man, you know, do we really want to talk about this right now? You know, said so after watching it on TV, it's like, nah, I'm good. I only have to rehash it for real. <laughs> hey, so, hey, is is so much said, more to talk about? As Tommy said on that brand new episode of Ghost, I want all the smoke. Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I knew I knew shit. He was gonna be on point, man. I appreciate oh, you yeah. today, man. <laughs> he was ready, to roast. I knew he was ready, to roast. I seen it in his face That's what I was talking to him earlier. But it's all good, man. Y'all good people's to me, man. So, um, is there anything else you want to plug out there, Brian? Before we get off the show? No, man. I, I think uh, I think that was pretty much it. I'm I'm glad we were able to get everybody together. All right. Yeah. We we can do Brian and friends whenever you want, man. Just let me know. You know what I'm saying? I'm- Oh, <laughs> all right y'all i appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in and shout out to you and your endeavors and, and life and things that are going on organic radio show it's your boy super dj sean rubble we out of here peace peace Lost my voice. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the organic radio show with your host, Super DJ Sean Rebel, and my man, Brian. Brian is a good guy, man. So we're going to salute him, give him his flowers while he's here. And thank you for coming on the show, man, because it takes a lot of courage to talk about things that are really impacting both sides of the game. You know what I mean? My man, DL Jones, you know what I'm saying? D. Deshaun Clothing, Shin Q. AKA Old Man Fleming, who plugged himself on the show. Had mad stuff going on. And the lovely Latte Life, Photos, Cavitation, etc., etc., etc. We out of here, y'all. Peace.